as an operator of tower cranes for over 20 years. G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, looks like Adam, he's gone on a big justification spree, trying to make us believe that he actually drives a crane. Well, I'm not so sure. Let's have a look. I've only got to look out my window and the globe goes bye-bye. Well, that looks fake. And a few people from NASA. James Skipper being one of them. He came and had a go, former test engineer for the Gemini program. Colours are all wrong. Simon Dan ran away. Conspiracy cats came in. When he was held accountable, i.e. to provide demonstrable science, he then lied and misrepresented me. Got himself an instant block. Like I say, I've only got to look out the window and the globe goes bye-bye. You know, cranes move. This one isn't. It must be a pantomime. Any demonstration they'll come up with will prove the spinning globe earth theory is ridiculous. Sorry guys. That is clearly an overlaid scene. I only stand by... Oh. That was almost convincing that sound clip Adam, almost. Nice editing though, you really nearly convinced us. 10 out of 10 for realism. And as a result of that, no one on earth can refute me. Now, if I was up that high, I'd get out my P900 and I'd be zooming in. And those things I stand by prove the globe is impossible. Adam has a P900. He's not zooming in. This has to be fake. And because of that, I have hundreds of trolls visit the channel, some minutes old. They set up accounts specifically to come and troll me. I'm just not buying it. All trying to make us, the people who stand by demonstrable truth, look silly. Sorry. Every crane on Earth proves the globe is scientifically impossible. What a load of old tosh. If the Earth was a spinning ball, my career as a tower crane operator wouldn't exist, clearly. That doesn't even look like a crane. That is nothing like any crane I've ever seen. The force of gravity, whether it be the bending and warping of pantomime time, or mass attracting mass, are both bunkum, both nonsense. Just silly stories attached to a natural phenomenon. They clearly don't cut it when they come under the scrutiny that is the scientific method. So sorry, like I previously said, I've only got to look out my window and the globe goes bye-bye. Oops! What a load of old tosh. Well, forget CERN and their super collider. Brisbane is going to be the world's science center of excellent bar none. I heard we were building a new science center and this is what I think it must be. When I saw the cranes, it has to be this site here, absolutely. Almost complete and ready for experimentations to take place. Sorry, Adam. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on.